Okay, here we go. So this is Hilux. So we can see the little Hilux fastener right there. There she is. Uh, and so if we're going to install a Hilux into a piece of material, it's kind of interesting. They've hacked onto this uh, piece of metal, kind of the process. So we're going to ream, drill and ream our hole to size. So here's our hole right here. And we've drilled it a specific size. And uh, I'm just going to show you here. So we're going to we're going to drill. So there's our specific drill, and it's going to be undersized. And then what we're going to do is we're going to finish it with a reamer, right? And so there's a quality reamer right there, and that's going to give us our final drill size. Once we've got our hole, it says uh, chamfer the edge of the hole. So yeah, we're actually going to really deburr it more than just a standard, almost kind of a little bit of a countersink. Uh, well, you can see that uh, on both sides, and so. We've really, really chamfered the edge. That way we allow, under the head, there's a little bit of a, uh, what do they call well, a chamfer or a radius, and so we want to have room for that. And so we're gonna chamfer that hole so that it's in you know, really good shape and ready to take the pin. Now the question is, we're, we're back to that stage again. What size, what length of material do we put in there? Well, we're stuck once again trying to figure out, you know, what is that dimension for the length? Because the length is super critical, right? And so what did we say we need? Anybody remember? Yeah, a grip gauge, right? Grip gauge. And so, there it is, the high lock grip gauge. Choosing the right size for our high lock. There's our piece of material. What we're gonna do is we're going to use our grip gauge. We're gonna stick it in the hole just like a cherry mask. We're gonna pull it back. And then we are going to read the very first number at or above the material. And so, I don't know how well you guys can see that. The first number disappears, and I can't see it at all. But the second number, I definitely can see. So, a dash two would be the number that I would choose. If I needed to, you know, if I couldn't get my head down to actually have a look, I could put a piece of metal up against that edge pull it out and then look. I can totally see the one. So if I can see the one and I can just see the start of the two, the two would be the dash length of the size that I would choose. So that's how we use the grip gauge. Just the same as the Cherry Max. Put it in, first number at, parallel or above the skin. That's the dash length that we're gonna use. So there it is. Uh, we can see that the, um, the pin has gone in the hole uh, and but not all the way in. It's definitely not all the way in. It's only gone in the thickness of the uh, the threaded portion. So what I'm going to do real quick is I've got to put that guy into position. So I've got my little support piece there. I'm going to put my high lock above it. Okay. And I guess I'm going to have to do this as two two hand operation again. Sorry. Okay. And so. Okay. Hmm. That's probably better. Okay, so I've got some support underneath it. And again, this is not just a little, a little tap. This is, okay, I really had to drive that puppy home, right? And so now that's fully inserted. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my collar. There's my collar, the specific one for this fitting, for this, uh, this uh, pin. And so what I'm going to do, you know what, let's, uh, let's quickly put this thing in here like it was on the side of an airplane. We're going to put that in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, my ratchet on top. And there it is, it's fitting over top. I'm going to slide this in until it locks into that Allen key in the base. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ratchet it in. And notice how much, how much force I'm having to put on that Allen key. Nothing, right? That Allen key is all about weight savings. Okay, so I'm gonna take it down. Gets harder, it's not easy to turn. There it is, and she breaks off. There's my collar. There's my high lock fastener. I can catch one thread on there. And so it's a 3 16 right? We said that. So there's my gauge. I slide my gauge across. It clears, you know what? I should probably bring you guys over here. There you go. It slides across the top clearance runs into the second one but doesn't slide across right so that is an exact uh, size so now to take it off I would use these guys special 
pliers and all you would do is just grab onto it and back it out and so that's all there is to installing Hilux. Sounds easy but again the fit of that hole is super critical and so that's what we're looking for. Okay let's see if that's good enough. <laughs> 